I want to be a pineapple, I think that would be cute. I want to be a pineapple, because it is my favorite fruit. <laughs> Happy day eight of Vlogmas. It is Saturday and I'm sitting here planning for next week and thinking ahead to the next week, which is our last week of school before Christmas. Ah, exciting and stressful at the same time because there's so much to do. So much I want to cram in, so many fun things I want to do and plan, and I'm running out of time. And then we have testing, which puts a damper on everything. I need to F and P test, Fontas and Pinnell reading test, all but six of my kids. But I have to be gone half the day on Thursday, which cuts out a lot of time for me. Not good. I'm probably going to have to leave at lunchtime. I have an appointment at court. I have to testify at 1.30, which is in a town completely away from where I work. It's like, it's closer to where I live, but it's not super close to where I live either. If that makes sense. So I have to drive kind of toward where I live and then go a different direction to the courthouse because it's the county courthouse I need to go to. And I don't have a choice. I've been subpoenaed. That will be interesting. I've never testified in court before. I've never really even been in court before. Caitlin is singing at her Santa's breakfast sing-along thing today for her girls' glee group from high school. And then she'll be home sometime. They do feed them, which is really nice. I mean, it's a nice breakfast. They have everything. And a couple years ago, she came home with the little tiny jars of jam that they put on the tables because you get your own individual jars of jam. It's very fancy. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to hear all about it. Don't have any major plans for today, but we don't have the tree up still. Yes, it's December 8th and we don't have the tree up. That is my goal for today. Get that tree up. At least the tree part. Not even the decorating part necessarily. I think I want to have the tree up for a day and see how Mango does with that. And then we'll put the decorations on. And then maybe we can hang the stockings. But I'm afraid she's going to look at the stockings as challenge accepted. <laughs> see if she can pull them all down. We'll just have to see how it goes. She may not bother them at all. I don't know. Just depends on if she notices them probably. And if she can reach them when she jumps. So that will be interesting. I have already eaten breakfast with my husband. and He's gone back to bed. For some reason, Mittens, our oldest cat, who's like seven, I think, she, in the middle of the night, just started like crying and whining at the door, which she never does. Normally, if the cats make some noises at the door, we just kind of ignore them for a little bit because sometimes they're just missing us and they want to see us, but it's the middle of the night and we don't want to get a bad habit started with that. But she just kept carrying on and carrying on and carrying on. I thought, oh, Maybe there's something wrong. Like maybe she doesn't feel good or something. So I opened the door and let her in and she just came and slept on the bed with us the rest of the night. I don't know what was up with that. I never did figure it out. I don't know. She seems fine now. So just kind of weird. So didn't get a good night's sleep again. And then I think Onyx came to the door later. She usually, if she doesn't think we're up early enough for her liking to get fed, she will come and like jump and like <laughs> scrape down the door. Now she doesn't have front claws, so it's just her paws. But you hear <laughs> with her jumping and scratching on the door with her paws. So that's always pleasant. So my husband got up with her and fed her and the rest of the Jillian cats that we have. And then Caitlin was already up and about ready to leave by the time I finally peeled myself out of bed because I had... You know, woken up, gone back to sleep. Woken up, gone back to sleep. Woken up, gone back to sleep. So I was just like, oh. So I didn't actually get out of bed until like 7, which is crazy for me. I never stay in bed that late. So that was pretty strange. So today's just started out very weird. So this thing that I'm wearing, I got at Walmart last night. It was on clearance for $9. Now I looked at this whenever they had it out first, like in the fall. And I'm like, eh. I didn't like the face on it. Let me show you. I can see what I mean. It's a little creepy. And I showed it to Caitlin last night. She goes, it's a little SpongeBobby. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of why I didn't get it before. But I'm like, eh, I, I don't know. I love it's a onesie. So I kind of like onesies because I'm always cold. And this eliminates my need to wear a robe because in a robe, it just gets in the way. You know, and then you, you lay it down somewhere and you have to find it. And ugh. this way I'm just, I'm the right temperature all the time. I'm not too hot, not too cold. So it's pretty nice. And then I don't even need blankets necessarily because everything's covered. It's pretty cool. 
So that's why I got this among the other lovely things that I purchased last night. I need to do some major Christmas shopping. Do you all have your Christmas shopping done? I know people that get done in like July and August. And I'm just like, I have no idea what to get people that early. Like, I still don't know what to get people. Like when we buy for our little family, just the three of us, I wait until a few weeks before Christmas because people are still thinking about, you know, what they might like to have. And then like nieces and nephews and great nieces and great nephews, that is super hard because we don't see them very often, like maybe twice a year. How do you buy for kids you never see? Hey, Mittens. Hey, baby. She's not sure what to do with herself. What's up? <laughs> that does not look comfortable. She's just like perched on my arm. <laughs> I don't know. Cats are silly. Some of the things they do, I just don't get. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah, Christmas shopping I need to do. Christmas decorating with the tree and stuff I need to do. I've done a lot better in my classroom than at home. But when I get home, I'm just too pooped to do anything. You know, I'm just too pooped. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know if I showed you some of the junk that I bought last night at Walmart. They had Christmas tree shaped donuts. And I was like, I don't need those. They're awfully cute. So I did get one box. There were six of them in there. So yes, I bought one box of those. And I, I can show you this later too. Um, I found um, a mixture of the miniature tomatoes, like the pear tomatoes and the cherry tomatoes, just different. Well, they're different colors, but they have different, a little bit different flavor. Like they were yellow and red and then like a, really deep red orangey kind of color and they were in a christmas tree shaped package and in total honesty i love those kind of tomatoes in my salad so i was gonna get some something like that anyway but what sold me on them yeah was the christmas tree packaging yeah it's a little plastic container with a lid and i'm like i can reuse that for something really cool so yeah So, yep, you got me with the Christmas tree shaped packaging. Oh, yeah. That's what sold me on that particular package of tomatoes. Yeah. I know. I'm a sucker for shapes and stuff and themes. Tuesday will be our I Ready Math Diagnostic, which would have been our normal reading lesson time. So, I'm just going to have to flip-flop. And I'm trying to figure out what to leave for my subs since I have no idea who's going to be there. None. You don't know if you're going to get someone who's never been in the school before. Or if you're going to get someone that knows what they're doing and maybe was a teacher before. You just have no idea. So it needs to be pretty universally simple for them. <sighs> I don't know. I think I'll probably just have them do a project. Like something that's simple for them to do on their own. So then the sub, all they have to do is monitor the classroom. Like walk around and help kids. Something that doesn't require a lot of effort. Something that doesn't take a long time to prep. Something that won't make a gigantic mess. I don't want the custodian to have to deal with a giant mess Thursday night when she comes to clean. She is a sweetheart. I need to get her name. I never think to ask her name. I don't know why. I've chatted with her since she started. She's been working there for a month now, I suppose. Super, super sweet lady. Super sweet. Um, she always says, hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm like, I'm great. How are you? And we just have little, little chatty conversations. But it was cute. The other day when I was there for the parent performance at night, you know, Caitlin and I stayed for a little while. Then we left and got some subway and came back and ate in my room. And the custodian lady was cleaning. And of course, nobody else was around really. So she had her phone plugged in to like a speaker or something. And she was blasting some music. And it was like, oh yeah, you like that kind of music too. It was like 80s music. It was really cute. I think it was probably on a radio station, but <laughs> it was pretty funny. Caitlin's like, I should go switch to like heavy metal or something and see what she does. I'm like, no, she's sweet. Don't mess with her. <laughs> but she, <laughs> we went past the lady's phone that was sitting on a chair outside in the hallway because she had moved down to clean another room. And Caitlin looked at it like, like she was really tempted to mess with it. And I'm like, don't touch their phone. She's nice. Don't mess with her. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Caitlin's a little prankster sometimes. You got to watch her. Yeah, she makes life interesting, that's for sure. I'm going to get back to it, and I'll try to check back in with you later if there's something interesting to share. Okay, 
I told you I'd keep you posted on the saga of the mouse and Caitlin did not want me to share this, but unfortunately the little mouse went to mouse heaven. She was able to get the little mouse to her friend that has mice and the friend did take care of the little baby, but she looked over the baby mouse and realized it was very deformed. It had a cleft palate, it had a bowed leg and there was something else wrong with it. So it wasn't genetically stable. And so she just told Caitlin, I'm sorry, it just wasn't meant to be. So unfortunately, the little mousy is no longer with us, but that's life, I guess. So I thought I'd just update you on that because I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier.